Yo. Yo. Welcome back to another week, another yeah. segment. To what? Express yourself. It's your boy, Come your on. brothers. It's your boy, Wade, man. Yes, sir. Back at it again. Season Uno, episode 13. 13. 13. Fuck. Yes, sir. We getting up 13. there, goddamn. We climbing the ladder, goddamn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what'd you about to say? Nah, just last week we talked about, yeah. um, we didn't give it really a title. We just said, like, why don't you? Why don't you leave? Why don't you leave? Why don't you leave? Why don't you leave? That's all y'all that's in them toxic relationships. If you really want to know what it's about, go ahead and Let's go back tune to in, man. And the easy way to do that, too, is if you go to our channel, Always Way's channel, you can go to playlist. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is look for Express Yourself Podcast. Yep. It's super easy. It's all right there. Super easy. Uh, and then two weeks ago, we dapped in on Karma. Karma. Sir. Another one. Another one. Is it real? Go check that joint out, too. Check it same out. thing. Last, same thing. Just go to that playlist. Express yourself podcast, man, which is where we at right now. Yep. Um, that being said, we kind of been talking about it those last two, right? Those last two segments specifically, we kind of been going over it. Mm -hmm. Um, just very brief, but you know, I think we're gonna just elaborate on it th today. So it's cause and effect. Cause and effect. Cause and effect, man. Cause and a fucking effect. All right. So, I mean, do, do, should I say, is it real? I mean, yeah. is it real? It is real. It's real, right? I, I mean, like, we both say it's real, right? I okay. feel like that's life. Life is living cause and effect. Okay. So In Anything you do, I feel like my opinion will be like cause and effect. Like Okay, so what does cause and effect mean to you? If, yeah, I, yeah. if I do, if I go to the gym consistently for six months. Right. Right. The What's going effect on? What's is going to be, on? you know, difference in my body. You know what I'm saying that's the effect of it. Now, if those six months, all I'm doing is eating junk food. I just eating, man, that's so funny. I was thinking about the factors too, because there's so many saying? factors yeah. too. So yeah, now, yeah, yeah, for sure. Those six months, I'm eating junk food, and I'm not seeing progression in my stuff. Well, that's the effect. You know hmm. what I'm saying? So anything in life, I consider is just there's a cause and effect to everything. Whether it's like you have unprotected sex. Not saying that every time it's gonna happen. No, not saying every time. But, but it's a risk, the, the right? They call it the highest. Is, yeah, you gonna be a parent. Could be a fucking parent. You know what I'm saying? Or you have unprotected sex. Chances of you getting a STD is pretty high. Yeah, you know uh, what I'm saying. There's always a cause and effect, and it's just like you always gotta look back and like don't look for an excuse or a reason why being just go back and narrow it down. Like what cause? What caused this effect to happen? Like sometimes all these people be like, why is this happening to me? This isn't this, this. Well, what did you do to lead up to that? I do feel like a lot of times that shit is self-explanatory. I'm damn me sure, bro. I was, I'm pretty sure it's like I, I, I'm, not, I'm not lying. Like, I feel like, bro, whenever somebody be like, why? Bro? Just think a little bit. Right, just, I'd be like, just like, do a little, what is that shit called? Flashback. Recap. Yeah, a recap little recap. Reanalyze your situation. Mm-hmm. Did it really just happen out of nowhere? Hell no. It didn't just happen out of nowhere, bro. <laughs> it didn't really just happen out of nowhere. You know, something happened out of nowhere. You might just out of nowhere run into somebody at a grocery store. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. I think I think you out of nowhere run into somebody on the street at a party. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we talking about causes and effects, man. Uh, again, I do believe whatever's happening or whatever happened, it has a why. That's the way I explain it. Exactly. That's it's, there's a why it happened. Mm -hmm. There's a why. There's way. It, there's a why it's happening, right? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you getting cheated on. If you get cheated on, why is it happening? And if you continue to get cheated on, why is it continuing to happen to you? Right? Maybe it's you're not identifying. Because let's just say, let's say if it's the same partner. That means you potentially. That means you're tolerating it, right? That could be a why, right? An easy one. Yeah. Uh, let's say if it's multiple, it's, it's like you cheat. You broke up with that one. Boom. When you got into another one, you broke up with that one. Boom. Got into another. Bro, you can't say all men ain't shit and all men cheat because I don't. He don't. Right. So that's not true. But what could be happening is you have you could be you could have a bad read on men. You could. Yeah. You could. You could not be analyzing like, and and also could be. There's another one. Lack of boundaries. You can have a lack of boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Lack of boundaries could lead to uh, cheating, I feel like, really easily. You know what I'm saying? Not saying what you 
what you are or aren't for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, allowing your man to do whatever. I don't know. It's, it's so many. There's so many factors. I feel like you know, but um, yeah. That that's 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 one for cheating. I think. Um, yeah, I, I feel like. I mean, does it make it right? Yeah. No. No. Nah, but I, ain't that. I mean, there always is a cause and effects of certain shit. It's just like how he was saying. Like one of them could be like, let's say you get into a relationship and y'all fucking what? Let's say a year or two in already, mm-hmm. and then now you got um, accustomed or used to y'all relationship. So now you don't buy her the flowers. You don't do like extravagant and shit like here and there. You just you don't surprise her no more. You just are accustomed to like her being by you and shit. So then you stop doing all those shit that you did to like win her over or, or make her fall for you. And it's just like women love that shit. And it's like if you stop doing that then, and someone else is doing it, oh, they're yeah. going to be tempted to cheat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now cause and effect is like what caused it was you stopped being the person you person were to you make were. her fall in love. Like, does that make it right? No, it doesn't make her her wrong or right or anything. But you know, it, there's it's shit that lead up to it. You know, what I'm saying it's yeah, it a cause. cause. It's, it's a we're saying like if you're always working, always working, and it's like you Long. never have time for her. It's Another just like one. she going someone. If you're not giving her attention, someone else will. And I, and that's why I say like the boundaries because it's like. Mm-hmm. If you're not with, because again, like you're saying, no, nah, it's not right or it's wrong, right? right? But I mean, I think it's wrong. That's my boundary. I think it's wrong to be cheating, but I don't condone that shit, right? And then, like I said, he knows he don't either. But I'm understanding. We're both understanding people that like mm-hmm. to, to the to the cause and effect of it. So like, if you know you're a busy person, if you can't, that's what I say, like picking your partner wisely too, because like if you can't. Pick a partner that understands your lifestyle from the jump, like where you could be like, "This, I'm always gonna be doing this." I'm always, you know what I mean? Or our time together is seldom. You know, I mean, you can do this, or you know what I mean, shit like that. Like if you don't set the tone from the jump, and you just like you like he was saying, like you just this person act like you're gonna be there all the time, gonna be going on dates all the time, gonna be doing gifts all the time, and you can't keep up with that. But that's what she fell for with you. You were a charmer, but then you're not charming no more. Mm. Right, mm-hmm. right. So then, I mean, what what do you think? That again, cause and effect, bro. Whatever you do, there's gonna be an effect. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whatever you do right now is an effect. Mm-hmm. You you got you you're right now. You are literally presently living causes and effects simultaneously. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by those that may not know that word, because I know we got a younger audience, at the same time. So like, right now, you're where you're at because of what you did. Or because of what happened, right? Yep. So that's so. This is the effect of what happened, right? If you are, if you currently have a job that you've maintained for a year or so, that or or hold on, I'm sorry. Let's say you currently have a high. That's a, so a job for adults, maybe, and then for uh, maybe those that's in school, you currently have a high GPA. Right now, that's the effect. Of what the cause was you putting in that work for, for, for class, you know what I'm saying? And for those that's working, what the cause was you made sure you stayed you you stayed coming to work on time or at least communicated with your job. Um, I know some people have lenient jobs, you know what I'm saying? But whatever you understood, whatever you could get away with, whatever you could do to maintain this job for a year. You know what I'm saying? You applied for you apply for the job to even get the job in the first place, right? You know what I'm saying? So those are causes to the effect of you having this high GPA and not having a job. Okay, boom. So now, fast forward, this cause right here, now, I mean, now, yeah, now you're in the cause because you have a good job, but what's the effect if if you stop going to work? You just start doing a whole lot of call offs. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? You stop doing your work. And the school work, you stop doing your work, you stop going to class. What is the effect? The effect to that, your grades going down, your GPA is going down. The grades for the work at the workplace, you lose your job, you get replaced, you get fired. You yeah. see how that just worked like that? It's yeah. every so, and that's why I feel like what's huge is, and agree with me or disagree with me. I feel like one thing that's huge about the cause and effect shit. And it's funny because I just put it as a note 
or my quote of the day for tomorrow. And it was the video I was watching. He was like, "What are you studying?" And it was just like, and it was it was about basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like how to get in the zone and shit like that. And it's like you know how do people get in the zone? And one thing that's big on getting in the zone is living, uh, being in that moment. Mm-hmm. Like you're not worried about <clears throat> the shots you just missed. Maybe a dude scored on you. Whatever. You're not worried about the last play. You're not worried about the next play. You're worried about right fucking now. And you're so stuck in the now that everything is, you know what I mean? Like, you're making the right read. Like, you're just so focused on now, you know? So, you know, correlate that to life. You know, again, um, I feel like the thing about causes and effects is saying that with good effects, again, there's going to be some moments where you, you know what I'm saying? Like, to control some of your effects. I'll say that. You can have some control over some of your effects. Again, if I just was saying that, like how like you go, you being late to work, start missing work, whatever. But what if you started staying at work, boom, boom, boom. Like living in the moment right now, like every day I'm just going to focus on being on time. I'm just going to focus on doing my work. I'm going to just focus on doing what's asked of me. And that's for both at, at school and at your workplace. You have sustainability on the GPA, Right. Your shit could either, or it could go up, right? I don't know. Maybe it goes up. You know what I'm saying? Or again, you maintain it. And then with the workplace, you might get a promotion. Because now you did it for another year. And now we have the last manager left. We need a manager. And damn, you know what? You've been doing your thing for a year. We could count on you. We didn't call you on days off. You came in. You know, I'm not just, I'm not trying to keep going in, but like, it's just like, so I think one big thing about cause and effects is if when you live in this moment with, and if you hear what I'm saying, on time, you know, communication, living with principles and morals in the moment, living with purposes in the moment, you know, nobody, nobody always knows your why or, you know, and nobody has to, but if you know your why, let that be the why. So living your moment with these morals, respect, communication skills, uh, Accountability, you know, self accountability, self discipline, you know, um, live with these morals in the moment and just watch how you're, uh, you start witnessing how your effects to a situation get better. And that's how I feel right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I, I've witnessed that for myself. And I know you have too. Mm-hmm. Witness your effects get better because of what you, you know what I'm saying? Because you start, because you understand causes and effects, right? Yeah. Right? You understand call you understand call effect. You understand like, bro, if I if I do this, you know, you know, if you keep doing this, like this whole my whole reward and repetition. I understand if I keep going to the gym working out on my left hand, on my floater, on my left hook, I'm gonna get better at it. It's only a matter of time it gets easier. It's that's rewarded and repetition. That's why I say it so fucking much. You know what I'm saying? It's only if I shoot, if I make a you know. 300 shots, 350 shots a day, my shots going to get better. It's inevitable. Especially if I'm especially if I'm not just making shots, but I'm also focused on how and why I'm making it, the cause and effect of my shots. I realize if I shoot this way, then my shot goes in and that's the effect. I'm going to make the bucket. Shit like that, man. Yeah. And I just I don't know, I can correlate cause and effect to everything cuz I always thinking like that, you know? Cuz I'm cuz again, the cause is the why. So to the effect is it it is what it is. So, or, right. yeah, that's what I'm saying. The why to the how. The why to the how. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the why. I like that. Yeah, because it's like the the cause. I mean, yeah, the cause is why is this happening, and the effect is how it's happening. Okay. But yeah, that's what I say too. Like, I feel like that's life in in a nutshell. Yeah, like it is. life in a nutshell to me is just like cause and effect. Everything's cause and effect. Like the things you're. Like how he was saying, everything could be happening so simultaneously, where it's just like you could like every decision you make has an action to it, like everything. So no matter what you decide or what you do, like you decide to get out of bed, all right. Now what's the next step? You out of bed already. The cause you got out of bed. The fact was what you gonna do with it now? Now you start running, all right. Now you sweating and shit. You burning calories. And then you keep doing everything in life you do has a cause and effect, whether it's just something so little to something so big, but everything has a cause and effect. So it's just like, do it with work. You work hard, you get raised. You don't work hard, and you get fired, or you, they keep you at the level you're at. Uh, I, you know, as you're talking to man, I think I thought of a word like, 
you know, I was like in the moment mm-hmm. is what matters for your cause and effect. The choices you make in the moment, choices. Exactly, that's what I'm it's saying. Like, choices. It's, it's Those all, are all choices. Exactly, it's, it's all about what you decide to do. I want to sleep in. I want to not go to effect. work. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like it all starts from the moment you wake up. There's already a cause and effect. You no, know, because I feel like it even could be on before you go to sleep, because you can plan out your day. For the next day, it can be the, the the night before you before you go to sleep. For those that plan a lot, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It can be weeks before. You can plan on yeah. how to have a great right. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, people that live like that. Yeah, but like me, I'm not like that. I'm I'm more sure day to day type shit. Like I hate planning shit because then when it don't go to plan, it just pisses me off. Mm. Type I shit. That. That's just how yeah. I am. Like I hate planning. Cause shit. Effect. Exactly. Because, like yeah, he's like, you see. You feel like when he's done playing shit, it's been fucked up. Or it's just a lot of times it don't go as planned. So it's exactly. his new cause to his, it, the, it's going to go the way it goes. And I can accept it if the cause, if I don't worry about planning. Yeah. So that's my response to it. I just hate planning. Should I rather be on the go or, or I feel free? Like he hits me up on a fucking Wednesday. I don't got plans. Or I'm at work. He's like, like, yo, we hooping later on. You trying to go? I don't got shit planned. Yep. I could go. You know what I'm saying? But that's the cause and effect to me deciding not to have shit planned out. The cause was I don't make plans. The effect was now I have space and free time to do what I want. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like life is just and everything is just cause and effect. Like, you yeah. know, everything in life is um, cause and effect, whether it be something so small, so big, depending on how you live your day to day life. Like me, like I said, I'm a day to day. There's people like how he was saying where motherfuckers like planning out their whole week. Motherfuckers like writing, having a calendar and writing down what they're going to do each and every day or have it on their phones, on their shit, where it's just like they have their whole day planned out, like what they're going to do. Eight to fucking four, they're working. Four to four thirty is their drive home. Once they're at home from four thirty to five, they're going to shower and change. And then from five on now, they're going to cook and clean. And people have their schedule set out, set out to like what they're going to do in the day. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just what make what works for you is what works for you. I agree with that. I agree with that, man. It works for you, works for you, man. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Uh, just, you know, uh, I think one of the biggest reasons, too, uh, for us bringing up cause and effect is, like, you wonder why bad shit is happening. Again, you wonder mm-hmm. why bad shit happening. Start mm-hmm. thinking about the why. Start, th- start actually thinking. Instead of just saying why, don't just say mm-hmm. it, man. Oh, I don't know why. Challenge yourself. You actually could know why. You know, if you're in school and you're struggling with your grades, you can't say, why am I struggling with my grades? I don't know why. Are you doing your work? Are you studying? Are you studying? Hold on. Here goes another mm-hmm. one. Maybe you don't understand the material, but it does not make you fucking stupid. Have you asked for help? Mm-hmm. If you received help, is it the right help? Maybe you need to find help from somebody else because this person right here, it's just they don't know how to deliver the message to you. Mm-hmm. There's so many, right? You know what There's so many ways to go about it. Always ways. There's so many ways to go about that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So anything that's bad or whatever, I'm calling it bad, but like, or not going the way you want it to go, there's a why. Again, that's the effect. But what happens? So now it's time for you to reanalyze, you know, or go back and assess what happened that led up to this point. You know, because when you be able to dissect what happened, then you can start getting what you really want to happen. Right, because at that point, y'all just playing victim. And I can't stand that shit. Real shit. At that point, you're, that just, playing, you're, just, you're just playing victim because you waiting for motherfuckers to give you the answer. Man. Or you waiting for that help. Come on, bro. It's like, Come you on, can't bro. go out there and get it on your own type Be shit. resilient, bro. Exactly. It's like, <laughs> cause and effect. Shit. Like, nigga, there's a reason why. There's always an answer to everything. Right. There's nothing in this world that's not unsolved yet, bro. Everything has this fucking solution. Yeah. So it's just like, you ask yourself, why, why, why? Like, Stop asking why and start figuring out. Don't ask why. Solve. Don't ask why and start solving. You're the reason why most of the shit's happening to you the way it's happening. But you over here playing victim and saying, why is this happening to me? Why is this? No one wants to help me. No one's this. Like, bro, you're the problem. Here goes another one. All right. So there's certain shit that you. So there is certain shit that I feel like that you're not the problem, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Here it goes. I'm going to speak from my own story, right? It's not my problem. It wasn't my fault that my dad wasn't in my life. Mm-hmm. Right? That was a choice that he made. Right? He decided he wanted to shoot two people. I'm saying my mom and my grandma. I'll, I'll even confide to y'all. He shot my mom and my grandma in the head. And uh, both of them were alive. 
Love him. Love him that they're still here. Um, so he decided he wanted to shoot them. And what the effect of that was, was that, boom, now he got locked up and had to miss all his ch children growing up. And then that affected me because, again, for all y'all that maybe grew up without, with one parent or without the other, or maybe you grew up without either one. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you was adopted, foster care. Uh, what's, what's the other one's called? Um, maybe grandma, grandpa, you know, a relative, whatever, right? You know what I'm saying? But, and that wasn't your fault, right? But again, to go back to, because I even still feel with that, you don't have to be a victim. You don't have, you don't, you can't, you don't want to just be like, boom, I, because my, I ain't have my dad, I can't be a good man. Why can't I? Because mm -hmm. then if you say, I can't, I'm going to say, why can't I? Because I ain't been a good dad. I mean, because I never have a dad, I can't be a good dad. Shit like that. I was a dad. Why wouldn't I, why couldn't I be a good dad? Why not? I'm going to still make mistakes, but shit, what good dad don't make mistakes? Mm -hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just like, you're, you're just, you're just, uh, you're taking the power from yourself is how I look at that, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're really taking the power out of yourself. Um, Another I was gonna say was uh say cause you poor right now. You can't do that. Well, you're poor. Okay. Let's start thinking about ways to make money. How about that? Mm -hmm. And then maybe you're making money, but you feel like you're still poor. Well, let's start talking about money management. How am I managing my money? Am I living within my means? Right? Or am I spending outside of my motherfucking money and keep wanting trying to keep up with this, latest this, latest that? Got an expensive, uh, maybe drinking habit, maybe smoking habit, maybe another drug, maybe uh, expensive uh, eating habit as far as eating out all the time, uh, maybe an expensive uh, whatever. Start checking yourself. Why? Why is my money going? I'm working, but where's my money going? You got bills, right? Maybe you got too many accounts of like, you know, what they got. We got all those. They do, they do a lot of stuff separately, right? So like a lot of streaming devices. A lot of streaming. Maybe you don't need all the streaming. Why you got all of them? Maybe you don't need them all for a while. Get your money back, right? You know, shit like that, bro. Like be able to monitor. Again, there's a why. There's a why to see every situation you're in right now. Mm -hmm. You always. can't be like, because I grew up poor. I'm poor. I understand that, bro. I grew up fucking poor. Now I'm an owner of multiple businesses. I, what if I use that as my reason and I chose to be poor? No, you know what I did, bro? On some really real shit. I took the initiative and I started doing my research on that shit, bro. Like, man, you know, I started paying attention to why my family be poor. Why mom, you know, my mama, why we grew up poor? A lot of people I was around grew up poor. You know, I started paying attention to that. And a lot of it had to do with, and I'm going to give y'all one, one way right now. It's just habits, bro. A lot of the times it came down to habits. Mm -hmm. Which leads me to one of our, uh, subtopics right um cause and effect that's the main breakdown right i don't know if you got something else you want to say too no right. so so i was i'm not a big raw way fan right to those that's uh into him congratulations i just think the niggas a sad ass uh artist like when, when i mean sad not like sad as in suck but as in sad as in like the emotion he's always on the sadder spectrum of the fucking emotions and i'm not a sad person so I, I don't feel like I can't li I can't listen too much of that all the time, right? You know, we got our own little artists like four, right? We mm -hmm. fuck with four. But even that, like, I got to take my increments nowadays with shit like that. Like, I can't listen to sad music all day. I just don't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? There you go. So you got two motherfuckers that don't fuck with him. But we ain't, we ain't going to dish y'all mans because I know he has some good music. And so I gave his app. What'd you say? And if y'all could relate to him, y'all could relate to him. Right. Because that's what it comes down to. Because yeah. I know this world, man, we're going through a lot of shit, man. Mm -hmm. and I feel like it's a lot of depressing music. So maybe a lot of y'all could relate because I know the world. Exactly. I yeah. feel like depression has been huge in this world today. So that's why I said I'm not against him. Mm -hmm. I'm just not depressed. I'm not going through a lot of shit sad wise. Exactly. I don't feel like that I need to relate with shit like that, right? I'm more more happy and more energetic. So I'm just trying to spread out a lot of positivity. Um so with that being said, yeah, I was giving his album a listen, right? today i was on song two long distance is what it's called of his you know nostalgia album uh he just released i think last friday <clears throat> and and it was a bar in there he said more money i know that i know they've been saying more money more problems 
Nah, more money, more people with money problems looking for you to solve them. And I said, mm, that sunk in so nice to me, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's more money or becoming more known, you know, you start looking like people start looking at you as their way out or their way. Uh, you're their fucking problem solver now. Mm -hmm. Right. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. What you think? Yeah, I agree. I feel like they look at it like a lot of celebrities or artists or like imagine athletes, their family, the people they know or athletes have said that it's just like they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where it's just like even Shaq has said it like he sold his kids where it's like, like, I'm rich. Y'all not. This is my money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I worked hard for this money. I feel that y'all did it. Y'all reap benefits, but yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's like, but this is this is my money. I'm rich, y'all not. I like that. You know what I'm saying? So I do. I like yeah, that. And that's and that's as real as it gets. It's just like you work for what you get. So it's just like why Make why give out handouts? For it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why why give out handouts? It's just like y'all not there. You know those late nights on tour, or y'all not there. <laughs> In the gym, Man. like at the athlete, I'm mean, in the gym, fucking 12, 16 hours of the day, Man. throwing up shots or doing lifts or making runs. Y'all not there where my I'm doing rehab on my therapy, getting my body right and shit Again, like that. Again, cause and effect. Yeah, bro. Exactly, cause and effect. There's a reason I got what I got, bro. I didn't hit the fucking lottery. Exactly. So it's just like, and even <laughs> if you did. Only a few people do. And he, okay, even if you did. Even if you did, it's just like, now you're in a whole different tax bracket. You still got to get... You still, they're still gonna take money away from you there, and I just add, but when the moment you claim tax, you're in a different tax bracket because now you're not in the. Let's say you're in lower class, you're not in the lower class, or if you're in middle class, you're in the middle class, anymore, you're in a different bracket of tax. You won't get taxed more. Mm. So if you're stupid enough to waste all that money yeah. and give it on handouts and yeah. spend it all, you wonder why. Ninety five. I'm making this up, but the statistics like you wonder why all these fucking millionaires go broke, like. People hit the lottery. Why they go broke so quick? No, but that is true. I don't know the statistics, yeah, well, but I heard about that number, too. Though. It's just like you wonder why they yeah. go broke because they up. they think that all that money they want is like money. Like bro, like the government is gonna get theirs regardless. Even if you tell them to take the tax out everything that after that, they still tax you in a different bracket because you made that amount of money in a year. So now you're in a different mm -hmm. tax bracket. They call them lottery winners. <laughs> go broke, here it goes. Okay. Seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 70%? Yeah. 70%. Thank There you go. You see, I, I would say 95, but I was damn near close. Uh, I was just 15 off. That's high. 70% of, of like those yeah, lottery yeah. winners go broke because it's like they don't know how he was saying earlier. Money management. Money management. And it's just like you can't. Doing? You, $5 million. That's not, that's not rich as y'all think it is. Yeah, though. that ain't as rich because, like I said, you're not different. Come on, buying cars and houses. Yeah, and oh, you, and then the bracket. You're yeah. in a different tax bracket. Bro. Taxes you don't get out. taxed more. Oh, man. When you're in the middle, like me, I'm in probably, I probably say middle class. Yeah. Like, they still tax me at the end of the, of the year, like, well, the beginning of the year because tax season is like in March. Yeah. They still tax your ass, bro. Yeah. You still got to owe money to the IRS. Yeah. Now, think about it. You just want all that money. You think they're not going to charge you? Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. So it's just like, money ain't the fucking solution to everything. People think it is, but no matter how much money in the world you have, it's not the solution. Yeah. So, and 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 with that being said, I, I agree. You know, I agree like a motherfucker. Everything he said, I agree with. So I think, you know, obviously we all go through shit, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say, because there's circumstances, bro. I believe in circumstances. I said, mean, unfortunate event, whatever. Um something could have happened my, my dog i know how hard of work he is when he's healthy but then let's say he got sick and for some reason his job ain't cover him and he started falling behind and he needs some help it's this certain situation that's understandable mm -hmm. my dog don't come to me for shit so if i know if he came to me it was a reason mm -hmm. and i know i would already know the whole situation so I'm, i know the whole breakdown I'm like man you know i get it bro if i got it i'm giving it you know what I'm saying? Like just off the off off GP. But then there's some people that, you know what I'm saying? They just look again, they just continue to look for like like you're just the fucking so solution to all their problems. You know what I'm saying? That victim's mentality. Like it's, that's how I look at it. It's like a victim, bro. Like, I need you like I because I know somebody rich, I know somebody wealthy. Some of y'all probably got wealthy parents or, you know, uh 
wealthy, you know, family members that y'all know something, right? You know what I'm saying? And y'all know y'all can go to them. But are y'all abusing that? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, just because you got reckless habits, don't abuse them. Mm -hmm. Don't abuse them. That person is going to be, that person's a giver. Especially when you know they're just a giver anyway. Like, come on, bro, don't abuse them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, be, be considerate. Would you want somebody to continue to come ask you for that, knowing damn well all it is is they not changing their habits? Like, this motherfucker got an expensive-ass smoking habit or drinking habit, right? Or clubbing problem or, or like, spending, like, shopping habit. But ain't making the money to supply. I mean, to, to, you know, to meet the demand. Is that your fault? Is that my fault? That's whoever fucking habit it is. That's their fault. And they can try to blame cause and effect. They can try to blame and say the cause was because they lost somebody or because it helps them go through this. And it. I well, you just added another problem. If that's one problem on your list, now you got another problem because now you got to keep looking for money to support this habit. You see how quick that crazy is for those that don't understand that stuff, especially y'all young young. Like, bro, like, that's how quick that shit can change, bro. Like, don't look for them, them, them substances to solve your problems. Especially, like I said, if you don't have the finance to support that, you just added another problem to your list, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there ain't no skipping that one, bro. Mm -hmm. It ain't no skip trying to be cool, be cool in school, be cool wherever. Trying to, you know, keep up with the latest fashion gear. Trying to buy the latest designers, you know what I'm saying? But you don't got the means to, you know what I mean, to support that. What you think gonna happen? You are gonna be broke. And guess what? You might even have some of the designers, but you're broke. You can't, pay, you can't even afford to do this. It's hard to even get a meal, pay a bill. Just saying. Now, I sit like that. I think about so. I, you know, bottom line with that one to me is just like, yeah, bro. I just relate with that bar from Rod Wade, man. I just like. How people start coming at you, man. If anybody that's in that position, you feel like people are coming at you because you know you're starting to, you know, you're just growing, bro. Real shit, you're just really just expanding, bro. Right, and you know you you continue to grow. Like you do what you you supposed to be doing. You corrected your habits. You know what I'm saying? And shit's just starting to pay off for you. You know, and people are noticing it. People notice when you start doing better. Mm -hmm. You hear me? People notice when you people like when you're doing bad. They're gonna talk shit about you, right? But people also notice when you're doing better. You know what I'm saying? It might try to find ways to throw dirt on your name, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But fuck that one, right? Let's fuck that one. For those people that see you doing better, and they you see start people start coming around and start wanting from you, start wanting things from you. Start wanting, wanting, wanting. I've noticed a lot of that, especially with this always way shit kicking off. I've noticed a lot of new, like, old faces changing. A lot of old faces changing, bro. A lot of them, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's the way they treat me and everything. It's like, I see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't even say, I don't speak on it. I just see it. Right. You know? But that's not my focus. But I see it, though. You know, and I just want to, you know, again, my my, my uh, tip or my advice is just like, don't worry about that shit, bro. If you can do it, do it. If you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? But don't let that mean you don't love that person if you don't do it. Don't let that mean you don't care because mm -hmm. you don't do it. That's not what that means, but you understand that that person not going to change what they doing, whether you help them or not. You help them right now, they got the same habit, they're going to come to you again. Mm -hmm. You help them again, they got the same habit, they're going to come to you again. Or they're going to build more habits and ask for even more. You end up looking like you're their boss. You're their, you're their employer. You're just paying them money. Except for they didn't have to work for it. Matter of fact, they did the opposite. They played with it to come get it. <laughs> imagine, imagine that. Imagine that type of job. Well, all you got to do is go play. Ah, and he come back, and when you're done playing, you use all your money I gave you the last time. I give you a new, I give you a new check. That's what that looks like, mm -hmm. right? That's how I look at it. So yeah. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you don't know nobody's shit. Yeah, right, right. Oh man, well said, bro. You're not yeah. obligated yeah. to do none of that shit, bro. Well, not just that, but it's like not, uh, from a movie. Well uh, said, bro. A Bronx Tale, man. Uh, great movie, bro. Bronx Tale. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Great movie. It's just like I'm gonna watch that again, bro. It's a great movie, bro. I <laughs> watched that bitch like. Three bro, like bro, three, bro, what? Yeah, but it's just like how he said, bro. Like Sonny said, bro. Like um, oh, Luke kept chasing him because he owed him twenty bucks and shit. And it's just like he told him, he's like, nah. He's like, now nah, you paid twenty, you paid him twenty bucks to to leave you alone for the rest of your life. Same with the people you give out your money to and all that shit. Like if they not, if they keep coming back, if you tell them no, 
whatever the offer, or whatever they asked you for was the amount it may be. You told them, no, you're going to get rid of that person because if they keep asking you for money, it's not really someone that was on your corner to begin with because they're just asking, asking, asking. Now, there's other people like how he's saying, like, if I ask him, I never ask him for shit right. and vice versa. He never asked me for shit. Right. So when he do, it's just like, if I got it, I got, I'll help him and vice versa. If he got it, he helped me. It's not just because I never ask him for shit. Don't mean I'm going to be like, yo, can I borrow X amount of money? And I'm going to expect the yes because... He's got his life, you know. He's got his shit to go through too. He's got to look like how he's saying he's responsible. He's got to look at his financial situation. Like, can I afford to give him this money or not? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you got to know who you're giving your money to and who you're not giving your money to, and not just that, but if they're really not someone in your day to day life or people you fuck with, and all it took was you to say no to get them out your life, then take that. That's just a W for you. I think yeah, that's like just that one too. for you. You know, I thought about something too. Another, I thought about man. We you know we always think about ways and different perspectives, and all these ways. Think about multiple perspectives, right? And I was thinking about another perspective of um. You were saying like, okay, you know, like I know you only gonna come to me when, or vice versa. We only gonna go to each other when we absolutely need it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and let's say that be the case, because this has happened between both of us, where one of us is one to the other and has needed it. But then the other person just didn't have it. You see us still though. We're still brothers. Mm -hmm. And so that's the that's a lesson for y'all too, man. Like if y'all do really need it, yeah, don't be don't be uh too prideful to you know ask for help if necessary. If necessary, I do. I'm I'm all on like, bro. I'm gonna exhaust all my options before I ask for help. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta almost be bad, bad. To, like ask, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Then they're like, that's my last option. Like real shit. Same here. I'm a hustler, bro. I'm a I'm a pure hustler, bro. I'm a really a hustler. I'm not looking to ask for help, bro. I'm just not him. I'm not him. I'd rather ask for advice than ask for help. That is help to me. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of ways to help somebody. Mm -hmm. And money ain't just the only way. Always ways. So what I was gonna say was, so yeah, man, just be yeah. Remember I was saying like be considerate, right? Of like who you ask and I mean of those that you know that's gonna give it to you or help you out, be considerate that if you do go to them, be Consider size understanding that if they don't have it, they just don't got. Don't mean they lying to you. Mm -hmm. Don't mean they ain't shit. Don't mean that's still not your dog or whatever that is, right? Your love or whatever it is, bro. If the motherfucker don't got, it, they don't got it. Mm -hmm. You try it. Go ask somebody. Ask somebody help or else, or continue to find other ways to get. You know, what I'm saying whatever help you need, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, I just want to. I just want to give that quick little perspective too, man. Just don't get upset with that. Just don't. Don't take your situation out on them just because they can't help you because they really probably even situation. If especially when you know it's a person that will help, mm -hmm. you think they're just gonna say no to you? Come on, man. Come on, man. Exactly. Come on, this is always cause and effect, bro. They ain't got it. They ain't got it. There's a reason. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. I agree. There's enough. Nah. Hey, man, y'all heard it, man. We touching on this shit, man. Cause and effect, man. You know, we do. We just we just like to just. You know, elaborate, dive on shit, man. We could have dove into so many different other topics with this. You yeah. know, um, I thought about another one, just another example to give y'all on the on the on the exit. You wonder why these kids are acting this way. You know, moms, dads, don't call your kid no bad kid. Your kid acting this way. There's a reason. There's a reason. Mm -hmm. They could be seen on TV on them devices y'all give them. Tablets, phones. Tablets, phones. Right. You know what I'm saying? They could be. Be around. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Are you the best example of what you want for him? You want them to act the way, but what do you, how do you act when you're around them or when mm -hmm. they're around you? Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Monkey see, monkey do. Yes, what you say last week? Monkey see, monkey, monkey do. do. What do you think they going to do? Come on, man. That was nasty. That was a bar. But anyway. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. What you think they going to do? Uh, that's some shit Jay Z would say, bro. That's for real shit. That's he'll say just that smooth and let you just figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You go do the math. Yeah, you don't do the math. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, man. Like, what, what you think? So cause cause and effect, man. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm saying. Dive dive in again. Reassess. I challenge my challenge for y'all is like dive into y'all situation that y'all in right now. The ones that y'all like the situations that y'all not y'all don't feel. Y'all don't like was how it's going right now. Any situation that you don't like the way, always like the way it's going right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm challenging you to go and see how it became the way it became. 
or how it got to the point it's at and how you can change it to make it look more or seem more or feel more or whatever of the results you're looking for. That's what my challenge for y'all is. So challenge yourself to get, if you want to be better in school, you want to be better at a uh, better, you know, partner. And when I mean partner, I mean like uh, relationship. You know, I want to be a better, uh, want to be a better sibling, a better family member, a better, um, what's another one? A better worker, a better boss. You want to be a better, whatever you want, a better, a better athlete, you know, or you want to obtain something and you haven't got it yet. I challenge you to see why you are where you're at right now, why you aren't getting where you want to go. Do your research. I mean, it could be asking around. It could be Google. It could be YouTube University. That's a big one. I'm gonna be honest. YouTube University got a lot of answers for you. <laughs> and then uh, start, start, start uh, taking those risks. Start, start trying those out, man. And see if you start reaching, reaching those further goals, man, that you're looking for. There's always ways, man, to get better, man. So start looking into that shit, man. You know, start don't, don't play that victim like my brother was saying. Don't play that victim and be like, then man, look. Anybody can make an excuse. My boy, my boy Day Day made a post today, and I really love the way he said it. He said, There's people doing way better than you. But guess what? There's also people doing way worse than you. Just stay humble, man. Just uh-huh. keep doing what you do, bro. Keep worrying about you and keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep finding ways to approve. Yep, and stop asking why. Stop asking why. You know the dissect why. Dissect that shit. You know the why, bro. Challenge yourself yeah. like you to dissect that motherfucker, bro. Go get them answers, bro. Go get them answers, bro. And don't let those answers be excuses, though. Mm-hmm. There's a difference. When we looking for those answers, they not excuses, though. I'm in this current situation because... And then you just accept it. Now you're just using that as an excuse because you accepted it. No, motherfucker. Okay, you're in this situation because... Now change that. Exactly, yeah. Right? Right? I like that one, man. That's some shit. I ain't never said that one. That's that sounded real good. I don't know. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, anything you want to close them off with too? Yeah, just that. Just stop asking why and dissect to find the solution and solve it. You know what I'm saying? Just stop asking yourself why, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Or why am I going through this? Like ask yourself, how'd you get to that point? What did you do to get to that point? And dissect it and then Make the change that you got to make to solve the situation. Yeah. Don't just be content with shit either. Like, oh, okay, now that I know why it happened. Oh, okay, I see. Like, nah, bro, like, you're not content. Change that shit. Figure out a way to change it and make your life better. And that's about it, man. And stop playing victim. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Stop playing victim. <laughs> hey, that shit's annoying. Cut that weak ass shit, man. That Come shit's on, annoying man. hearing someone like, oh, oh can God. you help me with this? Because I don't have money for this and this and this. Like, all right, why don't you got money, nigga? Fuck you spend it on. You work just like I work. Bro, a lot of, a lot of times, bro, especially like the ones that play victim all the time, you don't think people know that your that's your habit is that's one of your habits, playing victim. Mm-hmm. Like I know a lot of people, like I know the people in my life that play victim. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. the people in your life that just my fault. You know people in your life that play victim. Mm-hmm. So if you come to them with them weak ass stories, you don't think that they already thinking like this bullshit. Like <laughs> or not just that. Matter of fact, that whole victim, and that's crazy to talk about this because <laughs> That happened just, just uh, like early afternoon, bro. My son, I, and that's crazy because my son's six years old, bro. Uh huh. We was driving. Yeah. Fuck, oh, what's that street? It's on the way. It's like Lima. Okay. And the street is coming from like from my crib. Yeah. And you turn, if you can only turn left or right or go straight, but it's just like if you go left, it takes you to downtown, and if you bust the right, it'll take you all the way to Lima. What's that street, bro? Oh. Are you, are you talking about like coming and if you make a left, it goes a spy run? I think. That auto zone right there? That got yeah, yeah, right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know that's your name. Clinton? Right. Yeah, it is Clinton, I think. But it's that's Clinton. the end of Clinton, right? Yeah, that's where Clinton is. Yeah. All right, so we was driving there, bro. It's got another name, but I know what you're talking about. That. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. It's just yeah. throwing me off right now. I don't know that's your name. Damn, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Go ahead. All right, so I was driving and in the corner of that street. There was a dude, an older dude, like, I want to say he was probably like in his mid 50s or. 50 to 60 years old, and um, he was out there asking for money. He had a sign, and my son's all like, 
why is he asking for money when there's all these jobs you can go out there and get? Why is he It's called Edgewood Avenue. Edgewood? Uh, yeah. And he was, he was like, oh, why is he asking for money when there's all these jobs you can go get one? Your son said that? Mm-hmm. Real shit, nephew. Real I love shit. you, nephew. And I told I him, I was, like, I was like, yo, that's a great question. I wish I had the answer to why he's not out there getting a job. Because I think the same way. And that was, and that was, and that was, he's and that was a dude on, yep, and that was a dude on with the sign, right? Yeah, and he's over there playing victim. Where's I'm sorry, bro. I know some of y'all probably feel like, like, you got a soft spot for those people out there with those signs, bro, but I. Cause and effect. What did he do to get How there? did they get there, bro? Y'all, y'all don't ever wonder that. I'm not saying you got to ask them why. Right. But you don't wonder why. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm, bro, look, yeah. my fault. But my family, no. Y'all know. Any of y'all know. Bro, we do giveaways for the community every other Friday. Mm-hmm. So I ain't, ain't nobody like nobody don't like helping people that need help. That's not the problem. But still, bro, like the ones with the signs, bro. I don't know, bro. I just I don't think that's the way to go, bro. I just don't exactly think like, that's the way. Like that's the, the especially the signs that say homeless, uh, no, uh, jobless, need help, anything helps. Like yeah, bro. If I get you a job, would you go work? Like shit. Well, instead of asking like yo, just be like jobless, we'll work for food or something like that. That's different. Right, no, right, 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 right. I've heard I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind giving someone money that says that. I'd be like, yo, you know, here's here's fifteen bucks, bro. Here's something to eat. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like they, because they're asking for a job. They're not. They're asking to yeah. work to eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But people out here just asking for money. They're like, I don't give people those money. Like, I don't. Like, I'll give someone that has been there. Like, people that go to my job and are sitting out there asking for money because they just got here like for food and stuff. I'm like, come on in, bro. I'll, I'll pay for your food. I always tell my lady, like, you know, uh, she be right with me a lot of times. Or, most of the time I don't do it, but I have had moments where I feel it, like, I'm like, on hit. Mm-hmm. Or, like, or like instead of money, I just give them, like, a meal. I buy them a meal, come back, swing around, and give them a meal. That's what I'm saying. Shit that's like that. Do, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, my job but, like, too, yeah. I'll write, if they're asking, I'll be like, you're hungry? They're like, yeah, I'm like, I'll pay for your food. Boom. Some shit like, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, okay, now come, I got come you. Come yeah, into yeah. the restaurant. Yeah, it's one of those. Order whatever I do you want, those. I'll pay for you. Boom. Just sit there. Boom. There you go. Some you shit like that. You already, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie, like, like he said, like, because I, since I know, I, I'm, I'm curious on the why they in their situation, but I ain't. I also know it's also no, even with me being curious on people's why sometimes, also know it's not my business, right? Mm-hmm. With that being said, I know it's not my business. It's just like I don't want to give them this money, not knowing that they gonna just right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna better their situation, right? So but like, what can I, I like he said, like whether it's like whether I can give him a job or like maybe just a meal to get by right now. What can I? What can I actually? What's some substance I can give to this moment other than just money? Because mm-hmm. money is a trade for all these things. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know what I'm saying? You can give stuff more valuable than money a lot of times to mm-hmm. people in need. You know they're in need. So they need a lot of things, right? Exactly. It ain't just money. So I always look for other ways I can. You know, always ways looking for other ways I can help people in need too. Yeah, that's so. why we do the giveaways we give away free food and free clothes every other friday that's why we do that this is for you exactly so that whole victim shit yeah cut that, that shit did <laughs> all right man y'all heard it man it's your boy ways man yes, sir it's your boy g butters this was season one episode 13 Same. on the express yourself yes, podcast sir. man y'all know how it go man hey if you like this shit go ahead and like it like it up if you got a moment you want to share something with us? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and comment, bro. Yes, Break something down to us. You know what I'm yep. saying? Give us a different perspective. Give us a topic you want us to talk about. Uh, if you want to be on here, maybe comment and see if we can get you on here. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We are located in Fort Wayne, Indiana. For those that may not be able to get here, that's understanding. But, you know, um, excuse me. But, yeah, uh, if you if you got them, uh, if you care or somebody you care about, um, you feel like they could benefit from this content or this Material, go ahead and hit that share button. Yes, sir. You know, hit that share button. And if you're down for the ride, go ahead and subscribe. It's your boy Waze one more time. G Butters, baby. Love y'all, man. Love. My dog.